what's um, the responsible way to be a, a bodybuilder these days? Because obviously there's a lot of different trainers, right? And there's a lot of guys that bodybuild. And if you talk to any any one of them, they say, well, you know, I, I check my blood all the time. I, you know, I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm doing the right thing. But then I heard, I heard from somebody just the other day, you know, just, and they basically said that, you know, your blood only shows half of the actual results. Like, what's the right way to be a bodybuilder today? You know, especially for the younger people that are listening right now. You've been in this, and you've been in this industry your whole life. You know what I mean? Like, what's the responsible way to do this, honestly? The, the blood work is simply um, a first step. And um, there's steps beyond that. Let me let me give you an example. So, you know, people take a bunch of, let's say, Anavar Winstrol tabs. So their HDL starts to go down. So, okay, now that my HDL is down, now maybe I'm at a higher risk to develop heart disease. Maybe that's happening, maybe it's not. So the next step is, you know, like for example, something I did was I got a calcium score test done on my heart. It's easy to sit and say my blood work looks good. Everybody says that, but they don't always show what's going on. So I actually got a calcium score test done. You know, people can say, no, my kidneys are fine. My ejection fraction is, is fine, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you get a kidney scan, you know, you could actually you can actually get it looked at like it. You can tell what's really going on. So blood work is good, but there's another level to it. And guess what? One of the, the big things that gets people is high blood pressure. And that's I mean, that's not in blood work. That's a cuff around your arm or, you know, there's other ways to do it now. But that's really what a lot of guys are suffering from. They're, they're, they're losing kidney function. I mean, that's probably the number one thing, the most common thing. And actually, I think the second most dangerous thing would probably be the diuretics. Um, we see people die after shows. It's happened a lot in the last couple of years. And that's why. It's because of this crazy electrolyte pattern that's all messed up from all the excessive diuretics. So, you know, the blood work is a good start, but that can't just, that doesn't tell you the whole story. Mm -hmm. So what's this, I mean, what's what's the right way to be a bodybuilder? Are you supposed to get uh, a coach or guru and just kind of like check everything with him? Like what's, what are you supposed to be doing? I say, let's say you're 18 years old and you want to be a bodybuilder. What are you supposed to be doing? Ideally, so I'm real lucky. Um, I mean, Dr. Serrano is my doctor. He's, you know, you could make a case. He's a top doctor in the world. Um, I'm lucky. Ideally, you could find a doctor that really understands this stuff. It's hard, though. Not, not all doctors are open to discussing this. Some of them are still in the dark ages and think if you take testosterone, you're going to have a heart attack and die. Um so, number one, a good doctor is better than any guru out there, including myself. So, that's where you really want to start. And, you know, if that doesn't work, then you're probably just going to have to seek out somebody who's pretty intelligent, who, who reads blood work, who understands what AST and ALT elevation is. And just because it's a little high, that could just be from training. You know, there's a lot of basic stuff they need to understand. You know, crat nine might just be a little high, but if it hits this number, then okay, then maybe you need to be a little careful, or what have you. But I think you start with trying to find an educated doctor. That's not always possible. So then you got to try to find somebody who knows the process, who's maybe worked with doctors. Some of the coaches now do, some don't, you know. Um, you know, but that, I mean, that's to me, I, I started working with Dr. Serrano in 1999. So I've had 21 years with him. I've got a stack of blood work about this big. And like I said, I still don't think that's the end all be all. You know, he's. You know, there's other stuff that we've had tested and done, um, but you got to find a good doctor. It, it's just hard, man, because some of them are just, they're in the dark ages. They really are. You know, I, the only, let me tell you this. I think this is kind of interesting. The only thing that ever really screwed my blood work up was acetaminophen. I mean, I, um, when I was getting ready for Arnold Classic, I um, took some acetaminophen for two weeks. And that's the highest my liver enzymes had ever been in my entire life. And, um, you know, so, you know, the doctors don't always, you know, you just got to find the right one. That's my point. 